Well, hello, this is Dr. McIntosh here. Hope you're doing great this week. Wanted to talk to you about scholarships and financial aid opportunities. Listen, I know the college costs are, you know, extremely high and they're growing every year. But one thing that you should be certain of, and that is always make sure that you're researching and looking for scholarships and other opportunities such as grants and other um, perks that are going to be able to help offset the financial costs associated with college. There are sometimes for academics, there are scholarships that may be awarded to you. So that's why it's very important for you to keep your grades up, making sure that you're studying, staying on top of, you know, your, the rigors of the classroom, knowing that, you know, time management, all of those great strategies to help you to further build and strengthen your academics. That will increase your opportunities that will be afforded to you once you're accepted into the college or university of your choice. Also knowing that when you're filling out those scholarship applications, make sure that you're reading the fine print. Many times you have to meet a certain grade point average requirement once you're in college in order to keep that scholarship added to your financial uh, package. And so making sure that you know what those uh, requirements are in advance and making sure that you're meeting those goals um, as far as your academics are concerned. Then also, as we talked about previously about being well-rounded as far as extracurricular activities, also know that too, when you have the, uh, you're in athletics, for example, if you're a football player, basketball, softball, volleyball, you also may qualify for scholarships that are athletic based. And so knowing that too, that probably has a grade point average requirement associated with it, in addition to being a part of that specific sporting team. So once again, Maximize that opportunity now as you're planning and researching the college or a university of your choice, maybe it's a community college, see what types of scholarship opportunities that are out there and begin applying. I know that it's sometimes tedious, but you may find that the essay question or the questions that you're asked to communicate or develop an answer, you may find that they're similar for each application. And so you may be able to recycle that answer, saving some time, of course, and you may need to adjust or tweak your answer just to meet those requirements or those needs that have been identified to you in the overall direction. Once again, just make sure that you maximize opportunity and believe and declare your best is still yet to come. We believe that. Come and see us for the ACT and SAT program through the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Tulsa. And no, yes, you can and yes, you will. We believe in you. Take care.